Remember those big boxes I constructed to grow vegetables in? I like the idea so much and I have a little bit of space to make another one. This one's going to be the same width, two feet wide, and this time we're going to go a little shorter, four feet. That's all I've got the space for right now. Now, I came across this old cedar. This came from, I was told, a 50-year-old shed. And as you probably know, cedar holds up very well with the, with the elements. This is a little bit beat up. Some of it's kind of cool. It's got some old stain on the outside. I'll be sure to use this on the outside of the plant boxes, not on the inside, because I don't want, if there's any paint or anything here, I don't want it to contaminate the plants. So we'll use this on the outside, which will give a nice rustic look. There are a few nails I have to get rid of. Usually like working right from the tailgate here. Make some vice grips. And they come right out. Put them in my bucket. Some of the ends are a little bit rotted. We're going to give clean cuts on these. Now these are actually tongue and groove. So they're going to... We'll see. I don't know. I'm hoping they'll fit together. We'll make it work. So I removed all the nails and screws. And the next thing I'm going to do is just take off the ends of all these boards. None of the ends are any good, so I've got to remove about five, six inches of each end. And I'm using my chop saw here so I have nice, clean cuts. I didn't want to use the circular saw. It might be a little bit crooked. So I like working with the chop saw to, to cut the ends. It's faster, too. all cut, uh, cleaned up, laid out. I even left a couple little nail heads showing. Those, those will rust nicely and, and give a nice effect, I think, over time. Add to the, the rustic look here. I'm really starting to dig the way some of these are stained and beat up a little bit. Although I did choose the, the better boards. There were some that split in half, some were a little bit more twisted. Um, as you can see, the, the tongue and grooves is still working. It fits together nicely. I cut some 2x4s down so when the side comes up this will add support because the wood is thin and it's and cedar as you probably know is really soft. These will go in the corners like that and I always cut them a little bit lower so if I want I can uh, put some soil on the top because I don't really like the look of these but they they're necessary structurally. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this. Now I'm the last person on earth to claim that I'm a carpenter or a woodworker. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along. I pre-drilled these holes. through it I bet if I really wanted to. Maybe there's a better way to do it but I figured I'm going to prepare the ends like this first and then when I go to put the longer board on it'll be easy to do it like that. Made sense to me. Okay, the box is complete. I put a bottom in it. I'm really, really liking this rustic cedar. It just has such a, a cool, old-fashioned look to it. 
All I need to do is drill, drill a few holes in the bottom for drainage and then I can fill it with my special soil and I am all set to grow vegetables. Hopefully you like this one. See you next time.